March. Topping our news at the Sauer Hospital, officials in the Dignity Health System say they've initiated their surge plans to handle the rise in COVID patients. Now, while it's not at critical levels yet, officials say the increase is extremely taxing and they need your help. All of the hospitals are basically full. Uh, we have seen a tremendous increase in the number of COVID patients, as you guys have heard. Um, between last night and this morning, uh, we have moved into steps three and four of our surge plan to add additional capacity specifically for COVID patients. Uh, today, we are putting tents up at both campuses uh, in, in anticipation of a greater surge. Um, so we'll be putting those up uh, uh, this week, as we did during the last surge, although we put them up last time and, and did not use them. Bruce Peters, president and CEO of Mercy, says they were holding 29 patients in the ER at one point due to a lack of ICU beds. And as of this morning, that number is down to just six. Officials say we still haven't seen the full impact of the Christmas and New Year's holidays. We know we're going to start here um, really seeing the Christmas effect probably next week. I think we're living right now on uh, leftover Thanksgiving, um, you know, celebrations. And then we have some Christmas parties that occurred throughout the month of December. And then, of course, you haven't even really even seen Christmas week yet. And so you top that on top of, um, you know, the 31st and the first celebrations, uh, the new year, that can really be detrimental to our hospital and our community. Officials urge you to reassess your New Year's celebrations and don't share the air. Also, Mercy reports about 300 employees have received the vaccine so far, with another 150 to 160 scheduled for next week. Memorial reporting similar numbers, saying they've also received the Moderna vaccine and are working out a schedule to disperse it. 